okay um good afternoon girls today will be well it's not afternoon yet it's still morning so last class i had done with you the classification of bryophytes right when we did on the classification of bryophytes uh, we studied about the three classes of bryophytes we, we did only on Hepaticopsida. So before we start again, I just want to revise with you about who was the person who gave you this classification. His name is Johannes Max Proskauer. He was a German scientist who gave this classification and it is being followed by most of the uh, botanists all over the world if you look at his uh, work he he worked on um, he studied at Berkeley which is a university and most of his work is being recognized okay so we follow Proskauer's classification which was given in the year 1957 Okay, so the first class is class Hepaticopsida. And in class Hepaticopsida, we also call them as liverworts because they're, they, uh, the Latin word for Hepaticopsida, Hepati, comes, it means liver, right? So, um, this class is known in by its common name as the liverworts and there are 280 genera and 9500 species under this classification and when you, we talk about the structure of the gametophyte you remember what is the gametophyte the gametophyte is the main plant body which is dominant phase in uh, bryophytes and the gametophyte is uh, diploid in condition so the pl plant gametophytic body is either thalloid thalloid what does it mean by thalloid when we say thalloid it means that it is a flat ribbon like structure okay or there are two structures one is thalloid structure and another one is folios okay so folios means it looks like leaves it's leaf like okay but if you take a closer look at the leaves you will find out that the leaves are not uh, the way we have leaves is that we have this is the plant the plant uh, leaf with the lamina in the middle you have a line that line is called a midrib right but in bryophytes you don't have any midrib in the leaves okay so if you look at this picture you can see that uh, these the plant names ryala riksha and then we have markansha ryala riksha and markansha those these are the bryophytic liverworts which are having thalloid structure okay whereas the porella is the gametophytic uh, plant body which is having folios folios structure because it looks more or less like leaves okay so uh, mm, the other plant species resemble or they have the thalloid gametophytic plant body whereas porella has folios plant folios type of gametophytic plant body okay so If you look at this diagram, you will see that the six organs found in the 
in the class Hepaticopsita, they are either embedded or they are found on the surface of the thallus. When we say embedded, it means that those male and female sex organs are present inside the thallus. That means if you want to see them, you have to cut the thallus and then you can view the male and the female organs. Okay, well, I want you to see this word here, monoecious and dioecious. Okay, the word monoecious means that there are two different the the male and the female plant the male and the female sex organs are present within the same thallus okay and dioecious means that the male and the female parts male and the female parts or the male and the female organs are present in two different thallus okay so in other words dioecious means that the male and the female there are male and female plants okay they are present in separate thallus whereas in monoecious the male and the female plant parts are present within one thallus okay so again if you look at the the sporophyte okay the sporophyte in uh in in liverworts is very simple you can have because the sporophyte remember that the sporophyte is always dependent upon the gametophyte so the sporophyte is semi parasitic or it is attached to the gametophyte so the sporophyte will be either it looks like this where we have only one cell and this cell is surrounded by a jacket of sterile cells okay can you see this is the sporophyte and it is embedded within the gametophyte okay so this example where there is only one cell this is found in the species rickshaw okay species rickshaw so sorry and in this picture here, if you look, the sporophyte is more advanced in their structure. Your, the sporophyte now in this structure is divided into <coughs> the foot, the seta and the capsule. Well, if you remember that we had done on the structure or the internal structure of the capsule remember we did on the how the capsule was divided you have two layers you have the endothesium and the amphithesium right so the amphithesium is the one that forms the jacket or the outer wall of the sporo of the uh, of the capsule whereas the endothesium will form the sporogenous tissue which compose which is composed of the uh, spore mother cell, spore mother cell, and the nurse cells. Okay, so what is the spore mother cell? The spore mother cell is nothing but the cells which will give rise to the spores. Okay, and the nurse cells are the cells which will provide the food for the growing, uh, growing which will give nourishment to the entire sporogenous tissue okay the spores so um, remember that in liverworts we don't have a central column of sterile cells and that central column of sterile cells is called as the columella we don't have the columella in liverworts okay so the capsule here is either ovule or globus and it is brown or black in color so those are the some of the characteristic features found in hepaticopsida 
and we will uh, go on to the next classification but before that i want to explain to remind you that there are seven orders under seven orders under hepaticopsida and what are they or oh, let me uh, just explain to you about this one again in rickshaw you have only one cell of the sporophyte whereas in markensia you have more advanced sporophyte which is composed of the foot the seta and the capsule i hope that is clear with you okay so now we go on to the orders what are the different orders found under hepaticopsida we have number one is taka keels i think i've given you in the last class taka keels then gallo brails jungle manuals i think i better just uh I'll, i'll just send you the note because to write it here the it becomes very difficult to write down so i will just explain to you that there are seven orders number one is taka keels number two is gallo brails number three is jungle manuals number four is metz jerry eels five is mark and shields six is ferro carpels and seven is monocleals i prefer if you all can write a short chart of the different orders under each class okay so thank you girls i will continue in the next video